Hello YouTube, you are probably wondering why I have another video of the same product. Well, it is, but with minor adjustments. As you can see, there's not much holes as there are before. Used regular Lego block beams without the Technic beams. And, well there's a hole right there, but I'll show you why it's there in a, when I show you the instructions. There's a, that was one of the adjustments. Another one of the adjustments was the lock mechanism is a lot smoother. It's a lot harder to break. As before, you enter your code, then you're able to get out and lock it onto your desired object. Then push it back and it's locked. Now, when I put this down, I'm going to pick it back up later give you instructions on how to build it. That's right, instructions. I am back with the instructions. Now, first to start off, this is the truckload of parts you need in order to build this lock. You need four pulleys, not that much, two special cam gears. Not This is a pretty rare part, but if you're ever building into model motors and Legos, you'll probably recognize those some panels that I have listed here. You need a 12 axle, 8 axle, 2 7 axles, 2 5 axles, 3 4 axles, and 1 2 axle. Now these parts up here are parts that you can put in a desired color. The only three that I can list is blue, red, and black. These parts over here can be in blue, red, and black. Those are the main parts that make your lock colored. I chose blue because I have another project that's in red and another project that's in black. Just the way I do it. Then you need a bunch of these little pieces. Now, you're probably not able to see it well, but this is the small one. Camera's not really good at zooming, but this is the small one. The top row is the small ones, and the bottom rows the thick ones. Make sure you have six thick, seven small. And another little rare piece, this one. Just a regular one connector with a knob. Simple. You need a good truckload of regular connectors. Another rare piece, that one right there. You need that one. A couple rubber bands. And these, a axle connector and this piece and last but not least you need four of these pieces just a five length technic piece that cannot connect to studs in any way or fashion or else through there you need four of those and two of the thin ones and one of these. Same piece, but three long. Okay, gather up all the parts, and I'll come back with part two. I am back with another component. This time you need the big gear, one of the biggest gears in Legos. Then, just stick a five axle in the middle of that. Put the connector on top. Make sure it's like that. Put this piece over that. Then make this thing. What you want to do, you want to put one spoke all the way around and just pick a random place to put this long blue piece. For me, that'd be all the way on the other side. And then there. This slot right here would be for the latch falling into it. Then take this piece and stick it over. And make sure that these slots line up. Because if they're not, you're going to have to take it all apart again. It's pretty difficult to do, but you can east it pretty fairly easily. 
just push it all the way through and this is what I do there 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 and make sure it's all con connected then you should come up with that and then stick it on to the axle do it slowly and make sure that all the pieces are in place make sure that it can move a little free freely with a little bit of catch now that's your second component I am back with assembly of component number three component number three is the other end of the combination now to make this stick one on it just one of the combinations on the axle doesn't matter where it is at quite yet then you just stick these on and just randomize wherever you put that big blue piece just randomize it then you can figure out the code later then take this special piece put two knobs in it two of the two connectors one of the these on there and this on the other side like that then you want to take this piece and put it over keeping in mind that they line up these little gashes there then put it over like I said earlier this is fairly hard to do but you can get the hang of it then stick it on now stick it on slowly to slide in this piece to keep this piece in place then you just rotate it around a little and push slowly till it hits this end then you just push this on till it can just move freely with a little bit tension there's component number three okay this next component is going to take a little bit longer because it's actually the lock on it now first you take these two stick one of these pins with the stoppers all the way through and put it that same piece on the other side then pop that on make sure it's on tightly then you take the 12 piece the long one stick it on then you take a 7 piece stick it on that's what you should get now put that aside and I'll come back to this next one which this one right here will take a little bit more time to build a little bit more precision I'll make sure that that's just like that or else it will not work you take these two knobs just stick it stick it take another one, three length Technic piece stick it on there lining up with that that's how it keeps it in place so it doesn't just fly around when the springs on tension now you want to take this piece put it there that piece put it there well not quite yet this piece you got rid of for a second is gonna go onto this then this piece is gonna connect then go slide onto that like that so this piece right here you want to put three three knobs just to keep it secure want to take your rubber band fold it like I did before or if you have just short rubber bands it, that would be easier then pop that on now with this stick it right through make sure it slides freely that, that there's no bends in the axle there's a little bit of bend in that 12 but doesn't affect the slide so don't worry about it 
and stick that on there. Now while it's in that position, put this connector piece on it. And then push that closer, that there. Wait a second, messed up. I want this piece to be really close. So, that right there can go on that piece. I did a pretty poor job explaining that, but if you're smart, you could probably figure it out. Now, that's what you should get. It should slide freely. See a little knock there. That's how it gets it to come loose. And like that. Now, put that piece aside. That's what you should come up with. And put it aside. This component's a small one, but it's pretty important. Take an eight length, just axle, and take a piece like this, and push it enough to make sure that it's just one length. And do it the same with the other side. Push it enough to make sure it's one length. It's a small piece, wouldn't think it's important, but it really is. Trust me, it is. Keeps the lock from never locking again. Quick change. The five piece that was supposed to go in here is actually a four piece. Just push it out, replace it with the four, and the four piece that's actually supposed to go in here went in here. So just switch the two. And then I will come back with another part that shows you how to put them all together and make it work.